Hello everyone. So this is the third in this series where I make a Regency petticoat. So uh, I did two petticoats. One is when I made the try to dye that white fabric black and it did not work out because the fabric was a blend and uh, I hadn't done a burn test. <laughs> so I uh, the fabric didn't dye all the way. But this is okay. It was a trial and error. I made a Regency petticoat out of the scraps I had left over from making a 1950s petticoat. So, Regency petticoat, the first one, the black one, I made. I just did rectangles, gathered up the back, put a hook closure in it, and called it good. The second one, the white one, going up to my current project, I just took the skirt pattern from the dress I have been plotting to do, and just made the skirt out of a white cotton material. Yay, Joann's. Bought like three yards of 108 inch fabric for 10, 10 bucks. Yay, sales. Um, but yes, so I got white material, just used the skirt pattern, added a waistband, just a long rectangle. Didn't bother interfacing it, it's going on top of my stays, and added straps. Called it good. Probably, I probably could have, like, done more to it, but at this point, I was just going, I want to do this, I want to get it done, I need to do all these understructures for this project before I make the actual dress, because I want to make sure, you know, it all works. Um, so yes, this petticoat does go together in, like, a day, a couple of hours. You just have to make sure to finish your seams and add a closure. That's it. So, I will see you all next time. I hope you enjoy watching me uh, stumble through the first one. <laughs> I ha have a lovely day. Okay, so here I am mostly working on the black one. The white pity coat went together very quickly it's just the skirt pieces from the dress that i just added a waistband to and some straps to hold it in place this one was a little more complicated because i was working with scraps of the fabric i tried to dye so i left an opening of about probably six inches six to nine inches at the top of it and i gathered up the back parts of it and left the front flat. I did make sure that the front was, I think, on a horizontal stripe to give it a little more stiffness. At some point, I will make a, another gauzy type dress, but in black. You know, more me. <laughs> and I will use this petticoat and show you all when I do. But uh, I just did a strap length of the length of my waist, like the measurement of my Regency waist, so my underbust, and then I just marked where the side was, and then I halved that and did the front and the back, because it worked out better that way. And then I just added everything up, and then I pinned the back parts, like the back side seams and then the center of the back which had a nice you know seam down it and then just gathered that up so it would get a poof but really that's a regency petticoat it's just an underskirt you can add pin tucks along the hem if you wanted a little more um floofed out a little more full at the bottom uh you can uh do cording you can do but anything but this is kind of the basic it is a front like either rectangle or trapezoid shape depending on what you're going for and uh, two back pieces that are generally gathered together or if you've got white fabric one back piece gathered together so yes if you have any comments or questions feel free to leave those down 